What's up everybody and welcome back to another live stream from the Scale It Learning channel and today we are back at it with the Khan Academy series on uh, what's it called? We are on advanced math operations with polynomials levels foundations and we're going to bang out four practice problems in this section and through that I'm going to teach you and explain how to break down these problems and what the critical concepts are etc. Problem walkthroughs are the best way to learn in my opinion and that's why people love them. So without further ado let's get it here we go. All right, question one, which of the following is equivalent? Now, a lot of time, I mentioned this in the previous video as well, the previous section in advanced math. Usually when they say equivalent to, what they're just asking you to do is simplify. And when we want to simplify this, we want to start by distributing. So distribute, distribute, and we get negative 6xy squared, and then negative y squared plus negative y is positive y to the third power. So there we go. And let's see which one matches. Negative 6 x y squared plus y cubed c is the winner boom done okay next here we go which of the following is equivalent to this all right so when you have two expressions like this in parentheses that are being added together those parentheses aren't doing anything if there was a negative or a two out in front yes you would distribute those but here there's nothing to distribute so i'm just going to remove them or pretend like they don't exist and then we're going to combine like terms x squared and 2x are not like terms but one and negative one are one and negative one cancel out to nothing so it should just be x squared plus 2x which is b b is the winner Done, here we go. Number three, again equivalent, what did I say? Simplify, AKA in this case, distribute, distribute. 2x squared times x is 2x cubed minus, and then 2x squared times two or negative two is negative four x squared, right? Because we just multiply those co the coefficient and the two. So we got 2x cubed minus four x squared, which is D, D is the winner, done. Here we go, last one. Which of the following expressions is equivalent to the given expression? All right, so again, simplify, simplify, simplify. In this case, nothing to distribute, but we got a lot of like terms that we can combine. 5x minus 3x minus 2x. So 5x minus 3x is 2x, and then 2x minus 2x is nothing. So those go away, and we're left with x squared, oops, x squared minus 100, which is D. And there we have it. D for the win. Boom. Done. All right. That's how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this video, make sure to click that like button. And if you want to see more from the Scale of Learning channel, make sure to click subscribe. And if you do want to check out the best platform for digital SAT prep, you want to check out the SAT crash course. Our video course for, for that platform is also coming out very soon. So make sure to check that out. Use the code SCALAR, all caps, for 20% off. And I wish you the best of luck on your SAT journey. Thank you guys so much for joining. And I'll see you in the next video.